Hello. Let me get this started here. So, let's watch the opening and then I'll give you my spiel about why I'm playing an old PS1 game instead of Resident Evil 8. Come on, capture, capture, capture. There we go. Beautiful animation here. Just beautiful. It reminds me of, um, the Sea Monkeys game. There's another thing I haven't thought of in years. So look that one up too. Anyway, um, my GPU is on its last legs. It keeps going out randomly now. Uh, that Resident Evil stream was its last hurrah, and it pretty much died on stream. So I've been working to get a new GPU, which let me tell you is incredibly difficult. It is impossible to get one. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to end up paying a scalper like double, triple the price next week if I don't get one soon because um, I need it for my art. I have some art projects with a very limited time left uh, of to work on that uh, I need a GPU for. There we go. So, boss kingdom. So if you've never seen this game, it is a roller coaster tycoon uh, copy. Welcome to Sim Theme Park. This is prehistoric world in the Lost Kingdom, where reptilian giants roam a misty land of timeless fun. When I give you information, most of the time it will be repeated with a message. In the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, you can see how many messages you have. Pressing L2 will allow you to access your messages. Okay, there are lots of ways to earn gold tickets, some of which are hidden, but in every park there are three goals to shoot for. You want to get a certain number of visitors into your park, you want to stay in business for a set number of years, and you need to reach a particular profit level within a 12-month period. Check the message stack to see just how the figures add up for this park. So... <laughs> Yeah, possibly a graphics card. This okay. This is gonna be a running theme with this game. This guy never shuts up. That's why I was also no face cam today. I don't want to overdo the graphics card, and I'm in an old ripped up tank top. The exit to a path so visitors can get off the ride. But yeah, this game is a roller coaster tycoon parody for PS One. So controller tycoon game, everyone's favorite. Uh, and it has like a bunch of whimsical, different levels. And uh, it has a progression system where you earn tickets to unlock parks and new features of the game. So I had this as a kid. I played it a lot. I didn't have a memory card, so I played through the beginning a lot and only saw the end a few times. I heard Dave Owens. Rainer, rainer. Okay, let me listen to that noise right there. Listen to this noise when I put the mechanic down. That sound is like a staple of my childhood. That rainer, 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 rainer. I hear that sound still in like sampled in songs and stuff. I don't remember what it was recently, but I heard it in something. I was like, that's the theme park sound when you hire a guy. Rainer. Okay, we're gonna build some shops. Let's put a little fry shop here. Put a drink shop next to it. Get a little hub going. Putting a bathroom back here. Uh, what else do we got? We got an arcade. That's just a little rabbit hole. I think a little market research is in order. You've already built all of these. Oh yeah. This is your laptop's main menu, 
where you can get all kinds of information about your park. You can see that the uh, text is getting horribly up by the emulator. I think there is a PC version of this with more features. I'll have to look into that someday, but this is the one I had as a kid. Here you can decide what items you want to research. You can change which item you're researching at any time. And by altering the overall research bar, you can decide how hard your researchers work. If you decide to change the item you're researching before it's finished, don't worry. When you return to it, you won't have lost any research you've already done. Go. So we're going to put the research up. And where are we going to research? Um, the Sun God. The Burger Shop. It'll Smash. Fountain. And Crazy Ape Upgrade. And then we're gonna put in that oh, that other ride, the Rocky Racers, a classic. I always put the entrance right at the front of the park, and then the exit takes you all the way around back. Let's open the park. I like the Jurassic Park gates they gave it. The park is now open. The park is now open. And here's the guys. Got a handle on the fundamentals and have this park up and running. I'd like to give you a like 2000 profit, same business one year. You can re listen to all the messages from that guy. If he wasn't talking enough, you can re listen to him at any time you want. You've already built all of the shops that are currently available. Do you want to research some more? I am, I am, I know. We built everything. Oh, we built dino racing. Put that over here. And look at the rides. This is, I don't, I don't think even, roller, well, Roller Coaster Tycoon kind of does have this, but a lot simpler here to understand. You can actually change the ride. It will break down more often, but will hold more people. Uh, the excitement will go up, but it will hold less for the duration. Speed is like, look at how minuscule the speed actually changes things. Wild. Gotta find a good, happy medium here. These bars are very sensitive, even with the D-pad. These could be edited too, right? Yeah, you can change the chance of winning for the arcade. And the odds of winning will affect how much the visitors enjoy playing the sideshow. Make sure you're not losing money on your prizes. Yeah, this is related to Theme Park, because this is by the same people that did Theme Hospital and all that. This is Bullfrog. This is the PS1 port. I think there was a PC version with better stuff. But I've never played it. Might have even been like a PlayStation 2 version with better stuff. Oh, we need a staff room where they're gonna go on strike. Just put that out of the way. Just put it like back behind stuff. That's how it'd be in a real park. A little market research is in order. You've already but you can't build there? Available shops. Maybe you should research some others. Your visitors are having a great time. Keep up the good work. Got some rocks in. Get the place looking good. The visitors think your, ticket your ticket price is a steal. Have you thought about raising it? I updated the chat box so that for this full screen mode, I'm not using my overlay and face cam, it should be easier to read. And messages last three minutes now instead of one minute. You've already built all of the shops that are currently available. Do you want to research some more? M. How's the research doing? 
You're doing a great job. Getting there. People in the park are really enjoying themselves. Keep it up. Um, let's hire more researchers. Now, when I was a kid and didn't know all the strategy of it, I would just go square X, click, click, square, oh god. And just try to hire people as fast as possible. But. Now I know. I know better than just to spam stuff. But let's hire all the researches. Visitors find your ticket prices very cheap. Maybe you should raise them. Okay. Uh, where do I do that again? You already Here. have five researchers, oh. and that's the most you can have in one park. If you want to improve the research department, you'll have to do some training. Ticket price. Put up to 70 bucks. Got little bar graphs. Made no money. We haven't earned any awards. I guess you can train people. I don't remember that. But you go into here. People yeah. Side shows are a really good deal. Keep up the good work. Then they cost more money and you have to give them more wage, but they work better. This game runs really well for a PS1 game. Even though this is emulated, it's not much different than how it was back on real systems. A new feature has been researched. You know, a feature as in, I'll just run to the feature, run to the feature and powder my, my nose. Let's sit down on this feature and take a load off. This game taught me so many weird idioms and sayings. Like, this was one of like my teaching devices as a kid. Like, how to read your nose at a feature. Research is in order. You've already built all of the available shops. Maybe you should research some others. Your visitors are having a great time. Keep up the good work. Some of the visitors who tried your sideshows aren't happy. You should try to find out what went wrong. Uh-oh. Learn into the sideshows. Let's raise the chance of winning. Make the prizes cooler. But it costs more money to play. Same thing here. Higher chance of winning. Better prizes. But more expensive. Great deal. Congratulations. They like my drinks. Which I believe you can change, yeah. You can change the percentage of ice in the drink, which makes it cheaper to produce because you're putting more ice in the cup. Oh wait. oh wait, it's a new ride upgrade. But that's good too. Okay, we go to research, set up some new stuff. Ice cream shop, large tree. Rocky Racers upgrade. Now we can upgrade Big Ape Man. Upgrading a ride will improve its reliability and make it last longer. It'll also give you more leeway when changing the statistics. Oops. Then a mechanic I think has to go in and upgrade it. You've researched the ride upgrades that you haven't used. Maybe you should give them a try. People love a change of pace. He's so quick to yell at you to do something. I, I gave I put that upgrade in as fast as possible. I'm not sure you're getting the most out of your step. They need training to realize their full potential. But it's you're doing how super bathroom unlocked. People in the park are really enjoying themselves. Keep it up. Oh yeah, we need trash cans. One here. Place. Eureka! We've discovered a new ride. Okay, Sun God. You've already built all of the shops that are currently available. Do you want to make a longer one? queue for this one? This is a big cool ride. People think your food is a great value. Way to go! There we go, the sun god. A new shop has been researched. Whoever said that there's nothing new under the sun hasn't met your research. A new feature has been researched. 
white. Even the features have new features. No more sideshows left for this place. Eureka! We've discovered a new ride. Oh wait. We've researched the new ride upgrade, but that's good too. A new sideshow has been researched. Now we can all rest a little easier. Researchers have discovered some upgrades. Have you thought about using them? Have you ever gone to a theme park and played the giant whack-a-mole? <laughs> Your visitors are having a great time. Keep up the good work. So now I can tell some stories if this guy shuts up. You've already built all of the available shops. Maybe you should research some others. Uh, I used to work at a theme park. I worked at Knott's Berry Farm. I was a ride operator for a few months and had a complete nervous breakdown because it was incredibly difficult and high responsibility. And then I became a banker at the theme park. And that was fun. That was really relaxing. I mostly listened to podcasts and counted money. Some visitors who bought drinks went away dissatisfied with the quality. You ought to make improvements before more people get angry. I don't like how much ice I put in the drinks. Deeper. You've got ride upgrades in the hopper waiting to be tried out. Maybe you should use them. Visitors say they're starving. That may be a little dramatic, but you should consider adding some food shops. More food shops? With the fry. Have you ever had fry and an ice cream together? You go to Wendy's, dip their fries in their frosty. That that's the best. Idea. That's the best thing you can get. You've already built all of the shops that are currently available. Do you want to research some more? Some of the people who have eaten in your park feel like they've gotten a bad deal. You need to improve the situation before more visitors get angry. Oh, no wonder I like this as a kid. It's just, it's constant stimulation. The guy's talking to you every few seconds. There's so much going on on screen. Every frame is so dense. You've researched some ride upgrades that you haven't used. Maybe you it is being installed right now. There, it's installed before you're even done talking. Your visitors are having a great time. Keep up the good work. Yeah! Wish there was a Wendy's around here. I have, since uh, moving to Seattle, recently. given up basically all fast food. Feature, as in, I had McDonald's once, but it was in the middle of downtown and very scary. Let's sit down on this feature and take a load off. There was, um, there's a subway not too far from here, but I haven't gone yet because it's downhill. It means I have to walk back uphill when I'm done, and that sounds exhausting. Maybe you should research some others. The Mammoth Fountain. I remember the Mammoth Fountain. You've already built all of the available rides. Been there, done that. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you should research some more. Thun God. Your researchers have unlocked the mysteries of a new shop. We're saved. We're saved. Oh, here's the costume shops. This is the first of the shops that actually appear differently. It's the Sun God. <laughs> so when people use the costume shop, I believe, you can actually see them wearing little masks. Great job. People in the park are really enjoying themselves. Keep it up. Yeah, the only reason I'm able to eat so well here in Seattle is because I work at Starbucks. So lunch every day is a free panini or a free sandwich from there. And I get like an iced tea. 
Visitors find your ticket prices very cheap. Maybe you should raise them. Researchers have discovered some upgrades. Have you thought about using them? I think a little market research is in order. You've already built all of the available shops. Maybe you should research some others. I don't have much to build right now. Oh, I just got the new ride. Your visitors are having a great time. Keep up the good work. <laughs> Zoom in on the sad faces all around the park. Everyone is ill. Okay, what is happening? Why are they upset? They're all meh. They're mostly meh. They're mostly hungry and nauseous. Why? Why aren't they eating? I have so many shops everywhere. Okay, look, that kid just came out of the costume shop and now he's a little tiger. There's furries in the park now. He's so happy. The visitors think your ticket price is a steal. Have you thought about raising it? And God's getting its upgrade. You've got ride upgrades in the hopper waiting to be tried out. Maybe you should use them. You've already built all of the shops. Peter Molyneux, was he involved with this game? Was he part of Bullfrog back then? That's crazy. A new feature has been researched. Why, even the features have new features. The buzz about your park has started to die down. You might put in a new ride. That always attracts more visitors for a while. Your researchers have come up with a new ride. All right, we got Chaka Talk. A new shop has been researched. Whoever said that there's nothing new under the sun hasn't met your research. Now things get good. Now it's time to start building your track. Goddess. Was that the game where you hit, tap the cube a million times and whoever tapped the cube last got a special part in his next game? A new ride upgrade, but that's good too. This is uh. Continue building the track around to the other side of the ride base. This is as interesting as a roller coaster gets in this game. Will raise and lower the track. The banking bar twists the track. Previous and next allow you to step between the pylons. Press the place button to continue building your track. Uh, a new feature has been researched. You know, a feature as in, I'll just run to the feature and powder my nose, or uh, let's sit down on this feature and take a load off. You're doing a great job. People in the park are really enjoying themselves. Keep it up. You've researched some ride upgrades that you haven't used. Maybe you should give them a try. People love a change of pace. And then the fun part of building a coaster, where you start trying to fit it in between in order. your rides. <laughs> And it never works out. Visitors find your ticket prices very cheap. Maybe you should raise them. I can't tell which banking has been doing at this point. Keep up the good work. Oh god. Now I hit the wrong button. Go back to the track. Have you thought about using them? Back to the previous. Okay. I'm gonna lower the banking on it so it comes out straight. 
There we go. And, oh god. When you hit accept, you gotta go all the way back to here to start it over again. Oh, I keep hitting edit line. Edit track. There we go. Okay. Go here. Start bringing it up again. You're doing a great job. People in the park are really enjoying themselves. Keep it up. Oh, dang it. <laughs> they make it so easy to, to lose control of it right there. You've got ride upgrades in the hopper waiting to be tried out. Maybe you should use them. People are getting hungry and there aren't enough food shops. Do you think you should build some more? open. I think it's working now. The cube thing. Yeah, I think Gotus was the game where there's a reference to the guy who hit the last cube. Or he, whenever that guy plays Goddess, he has like special god powers, but why would that guy ever play Goddess? You've researched some ride upgrades that you haven't used. Maybe you should give them a try. People love a change of pace. We're going on the roller coaster. I want to see someone go on the roller coaster. Oh, oh, there she goes. She's going on the roller coaster. Find your ticket price there it goes. The cute little, like, dinosaur car. Yeah. Wonderful. You're doing a great job. People in the park are really enjoying themselves. Keep it up. Alright, they want more food places. Burger shops. In the furthest reaches of the park. Have you thought about using them? Put a fry place over here. The burger shop right in front. What fit? Ooh, can I fit something in right there? No. Right there, there we go. Because you attracted enough visitors to reach your goal, you get a gold ticket. Alright, there's two gold tickets. I forget how much it is for the next park. Let's go see. Save the game. Sonic Ku Hedgehog. Sonic Ku Hedgehog. Nah. Ku Hedgehog. Um, okay, yeah, we can use one gold ticket. Uh, the right looks like the more advanced dinosaur place, so I'm gonna go left so we can see a new theme. Yes! Halloween place! Welcome to Halloween World and the Realm of Terror. Abandon hope all ye who enter here. <laughs> this part yes you know for performance have been set check your messages to see the actual figure oh, while most of the rides are just free skin rabbit hole rides the terrain is now harder to build on it's more interesting to look at and there's harder gills. 150 visitors, 2500 profit, same business for a year.
put the rides together. Shops over here. Oh, you also get stuff in a slightly different order. Like we have the burger shop first, but no fry shop. Higher guard. Mechanic. Janitor. The researchers. Entertainer. Oh, entertainers here are Frankenstein. He's a monster. I think a little market research is in order. You've already built all of the available shops. Maybe you should research some other. Oh, I can't really do that. I've locked off my access up the hill here. Get going up there while we can. That was a cool little, like, drain, if there's a perfect- oops. The perfect four-way intersection, you get this cool little drain. Also, the music here is great. <laughs> trash cans. Little goblin guys. Yeah, give me your trash! <laughs> Build all of the shops that are currently available. Do you want to research some more? The bathroom is a coffin. Put the research. Clowns. Someone say clowns? I always liked going out here as a kid, just like watching the people come in. Because you will actually see a bus drive up the hallway, and kid people will actually get out, cross the street, and the bus will go back. I have never watched Love, Death, and Robots. Is that good? I know Castlevania comes out tomorrow, I'm gonna have to re-enable my Netflix for that. I think a little market research is in order. You've already built all of the available shops. Maybe you should research some others. Graveyard here. Collection of animated shorts. Yeah, that sounds cool. I like animated shorts. I've always wanted to do a longer length animation project, but never have the time for something like that. Wait, did I not open the park? Oh my god. Can I have your attention, please? The park is open for business. I did the um the animated Caliborn walking for the game over reanimated. I think that's the most like involved thing I've done. It's it's fun to animate. A new feature has been researched. You know, a feature, as in, I'll just run to the feature and powder my nose. Is it about uh, robots and or love and or death? Oh, pumpkin unlocked. The visitors think your ticket price is what a pumpkin? Have you thought about raising it? I can't build stuff here. You're not making enough income to cover your payroll. You need to get rid of Ball that rolls down, it lands in the skull, the cyclops. I think a little market research is in order. 
You've already built all of the available Ooh. shops. Maybe you should research some others. Your visitors are having a great Ooh. time. Keep up the good work. Your employees are so tired they aren't able to do a good job. <laughs> I suggest you build a staff room before they go on strike. Oh, I didn't build a staff room? I thought I did. Oh no, I had to delete it. That's right. Alright, go back here. You're more on wages for your staff than you're making. Maybe you should let some of them go. Visitors find your ticket prices very cheap. Maybe you should raise them. You've already built all of the shops that are currently available. Do you want to research some more? You're doing a great job. People in the park are really enjoying themselves. Keep it up. A new shop has been researched. Whoever said that there's nothing new under the sun hasn't met your researchers. Eureka! We've discovered a new ride. Oh, wait. We've researched a new ride up here. But that's good, too. I'm not sure you're getting the most out of your staff. They need training to realize their full potential. You're not making enough income to cover your payroll. You need to get rid of some of your staff. Do you want me to give them promotions or fire them? You're sending me mixed messages here. Is a steal. Have you thought about raising it? You've got ride upgrades in the hopper waiting to be tried out. Maybe you should use them. I think a little market research is in order. You've already built all of the available shops. Maybe you should research some others. Your visitors are having a great time. Keep up the good work. A new feature has been researched. Why, even the features have new features. Even the features have new features. Different color bush? Is that what I unlocked? People think your food is a great value. Way to go. People are impressed with your drinks. They think they're a great deal. Congratulations. People think your side shows are a really good deal. Keep up the good work. Get in there, janitor. She says the bathrooms are dirty. You haven't used. Maybe you should give them a try. People love a change of pace. You've already built all of the shops that are currently available. Do you want to research some more? You're doing a great job. People in the park are really enjoying themselves. Keep it up. Bus. Why are they leaving unhappy? Some of the people who have eaten in your park feel like they've gotten a bad deal. You need to improve the situation before more visitors get angry. And add more fat. One of Price your rides is about to break down. Take cover. Oh, oh, I suppose you could fix it. Call mechanic. Where's he at? There he comes. Lumbering his way through the park. Also, it's filthy. I'm hiring a couple more janitors. I think a little market research is in order. You've already built all of the available shops. Maybe you should research some others. We've achieved the limits of human knowledge. All of the available sideshows have been built. 
Maybe you should have your researchers investigate more. Your visitors are having a great time. Keep up the good work. <laughs> the ambiance of this game is so delightful. You should try to find out what went wrong. We need more games that use all this like 2D planes tricks, brights, bright colors. Do you want to research some more? Like Planet Coaster is all right. I just wish it wasn't so much as as it is. Like I don't know. I still prefer Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 to Planet Coaster, and I couldn't say exactly why. Planet Coaster just There's seems like it's. About your high price. I don't know. Maybe I'd be happy if you could mod cooler stuff, but you can pretty much only mod little really tiny features. Job. People in the park are really enjoying themselves. Keep it up. I think I made a few Disneyland signage and trash cans and stuff to put in the park. I think and Planet Coaster. Research is in order. You've already built all of the available shops. Maybe you should research some others. I have built everything. Please give me a gold ticket. Your researchers have unlocked the mysteries of a new shop. We're saved. Eureka! We've discovered a new ride. Oh, wait. We've researched a new ride upgrade. But that's good, too. Is this shop supposed to be... Like a spider? Some visitors who bought drinks went away dissatisfied. I don't even know. You ought to make improvements before more people get angry. A new feature has been researched. You know, a feature, as in, I'll just run to the feature and powder my nose, or, uh, let's sit down on this feature and take a load off. Researchers have discovered some upgrades. Have you thought about using them? First, the gargoyle. Yes! Big boy. The visitors are having a great time. Keep up the good work. People think your entry tickets cost too much. Have you thought about making them cheaper? Now the tickets are too much. You've already built all of the shops that are currently available. Do you want to research some more? Great if they could give me a sideshow other than the one. You're doing a great job. People in the park are really enjoying themselves. Keep it up. You've got ride upgrades in the hopper waiting to be tried out. Maybe you should use them. Visitors are grumbling about your high ticket price. You might consider lowering the cost. I think a little market research is in order. You've already built all of the available shops. Maybe you should research some others. Halfway through the year. If we grab all the basic tickets for this one. More if we get to four tickets, we'll unlock the, th the main thing I want to see in this game. are having a great time. Keep up the good work. You've researched some ride upgrades that you haven't used. Maybe you should give them a try. People love a change of pace. You've already built all of the shops that are currently available. Do you want to research some more? 
How many visitors have we got? The buzz about your park has started to die down. You Third. Put in a new ride. That always attracts more visitors. I guess it's time to start putting in copies of rides. Imagine if real theme parks did that. But like they just put the same ride in across the across the park somewhere else. You're doing a great job. People in the park are really enjoying themselves. Keep it up. Researchers have discovered some upgrades. Have you thought about using them? A new feature has been researched. Why, even the features have new features. Massive. Researchers have discovered a new sideshow. What? Okay, it, it's not a cure for measles, but it is something. Measles. We've got trouble, boss. A ride is about to break down. Oh, oh which one? Where's it at? You again? I think a little market research is in order. You've already built all of the available shops. Maybe you should research some other Bone Crusher. <laughs> Mickey's Dick Smasher Coaster. How do I even research that one? Pumpkin Shy. Your visitors are having a great time. Keep up the good work. Here, maybe? No. We'll see the other one anyway. We can put another repeat up here. Yeah, perfect fit. You've already built all of the shops that are currently available. Do you want to research some more? Eureka! We've discovered a new ride. Oh, wait. We've researched a new ride upgrade, but that's good too. You're doing a great job. People in the park are really enjoying themselves. Keep it up. Visitors find your ticket prices very cheap. Maybe you should raise them. I'm gonna train my researchers. All three. And hire the last two that I did not earlier. I did like to throw these guys just like all the way out here. Then walk back. Got ride upgrades in the hopper waiting to be tried out. Maybe you should use them. That new ride. You already have five researchers, and that's the most you can have in one park. The if super bathroom or the demon park, statue. You'll have to do some training. Get the huge ride. Oh my god! Research. You know, a feature, as in, I'll just run to the feature and powder my nose, or uh, let's sit down on this feature and take a load off. It is a big feature. Your researchers have come up with a new ride. Yay! My tentacles. Market research is in order. You know I love tentacles. All of the available shops. Maybe you should Crazy clown. A new shop has been researched. Whoever said that there's nothing new under the sun? Oh, that is a that is a adequately crazy clown. If I say so myself. Your visitors are having a great time. Keep up the good work. You've researched some ride upgrades that you haven't used. Maybe you should give them a try. People love a change of pace. I had blocked off this whole area, haven't I? I can go up that way. 
that's not gonna work. You're spending more on wages. Now, how do I get the? Uh, Maybe you there's no way to get this in. To get rid of this gargoyle here. A new feature has been researched. Why? Even the features have new features. You've already built all of the shops that are currently available. Do you want to research some more? You're doing a great job. People in the park are really enjoying themselves. Keep it up. Eureka! We've discovered a new ride. Oh, wait. We've researched a new ride upgrade. But that's good, too. So, the visitors think the ticket price is a steal. Have you thought about raising it? Researchers have discovered some upgrades. Have you thought about using them? You're not making enough income to cover your payroll. You need to get rid of some of your staff. We're about to go bankrupt. Oh, wait, wait, we're earning money now. I think a little market research is in order. You've already built all of the available shops. Maybe you should research some others. Your visitors are having a great time. Keep up the good work. Check and set them real quick. Visitors find your ticket prices very cheap. Maybe you should raise them. A new feature has been researched. You know, a feature, as in, I'll just run to the feature and powder my nose, or uh, let's sit down on this feature and take a load off. Super bathroom. Finally. A new sideshow has been researched. Now we can all rest a little easier. Your stockpile of features is getting low. You might want to consider getting rid of some of the older ones. Eureka! We've discovered a new ride. Almost got everything researched here. Eureka! We've discovered a new ride. Oh, wait. We've researched a new ride upgrade, but that's good too. Your researchers have unlocked the mysteries of a new shop. We're saved. You've got ride upgrades in the hopper waiting to be tried out. Maybe you should use them. You're spending more on wages for your staff than you're making. Maybe you should let some of them go. Eureka! We've discovered a new ride. Oh, wait. We've researched a new ride upgrade, but that's good too. You're I don't even need to Great race. job. People in the park are really enjoying themselves. Keep it up. Or there's a gold ticket for research and everything. The visitors think your ticket price is a steal. Have you thought about losing it? of your visitors huh? are thirsty. Maybe you should build some more drink shops. Alright. You've researched some ride upgrades that you haven't used. Maybe you should give them a try. People love a change of pace. Your stock of shops is getting low. It might be a good idea to get rid of some of the older ones in the park. We're finally making their way back here. Your visitors are having a great time. Keep up the good work. Has anyone bought the costume yet? What is the costume for this world to play? 
What's the gift shop item? We've researched the new ride upgrade, but that's good too. Your researchers have come up with a new ride. I don't even have enough money to build the roller coaster. Visitors find your ticket prices very cheap. Maybe you should raise them. I'm not sure you're getting the most out of your staff. They need training to realize their full potential. Researchers have discovered some upgrades. Have you thought about using them? Your rides aren't so hot. Maybe you should build some new ones. You're doing a great job. People in the park are really enjoying themselves. Keep it up. Look out, she's gonna blow. You've got a ride that's about to break down. People think your food is a great value. Way to go. People think your sideshows are a really good deal. Keep up the good work. Visitors aren't impressed with the selection of rides here. You should consider building more. You've got ride upgrades in the hopper waiting to be tried out. Maybe you should use them. Your visitors are having a great time. Keep up the good work. Your visitors are impressed with the value at your shops. Good job. Eureka! We've discovered a new ride. Oh, wait. We've researched a new ride upgrade, but that's good too. So I think I'm just barely gonna stay in business for the uh, year to pass over. Drinks. They think they're a great deal. Congratulations. Give me all the gold tickets so I can show off the best feature of this game before I switch. So I'll, I'll probably take a break, chill for the evening, and then maybe stream later tonight again. I downloaded a handful of PS1 games because I know I'm not going to be able to, able to stream anything crazy until a couple weeks at least to get a new graphics card. So I got the original Resident Evil 2, I got Sims Theme Park, I got Roscoe McQueen Firefighter Extreme, uh, Punky Skunk, the first Sorcerer's Stone game, and Gex 3 Deep Cover Gecko. That is pretty much my childhood right there, except for Resident Evil, which I've never played. I'm waxing nostalgic. Probably something to do with moving out of my parents' house. You're doing a great job. People in the park are really enjoying themselves. Oh, but now I want to play a Punky Skunk, because I know Punky Skunk's not going to be a very long stream. Some of the visitors who tried your side shows are I don't know how people split up their streams into multiple YouTube videos. I don't want to have to re-render it in Vegas. Is that is that what they do? That seems like a lot of trouble. Maybe you should build some new ones. Hopefully Twitch has a way to export just part of the video. I guess I, I think they can. I think you can. Or maybe you just export it twice and then use YouTube's trimmer? Hmm, I'll look at it. One of your rides is about to break down. Take cover. Or I suppose you could fix it. Some of your visitors are hungry. Maybe you should build some food shops before they start. I mean, leave. Your visitors are having a great time. Keep up the good work. Visitors aren't impressed with the selection of rides here. You should consider building more. 
You've got ride upgrades in the hopper waiting to be tried out. Maybe you should use them. You're spending more on wages for your staff. Golden ticket. Maybe you should let some of them. Go. Come was that? Congratulations. Because you attracted enough visitors to reach your goal, you get a gold ticket. Visitors. Yes. That means we'll get another one for the end of the year. But I don't think we've made enough profit. Rumbling about the long lines for rides. Shortening the ride times might help. Or you could put an entertainer nearby. Though some entertainers could make the line seem even longer. We've only made <laughs> We've only made 17 bet. Okay, I think we needed 25,000 first year. Keep it up. The visitors think your ticket price is a steal. Have you thought about raising? Really above $80? Okay. Ninety dollars to get in. We're Disneyland now. Some visitors who bought drinks went away dissatisfied with the quality. You ought to make improvements before more people get angry. The mechanics aren't patrolling all of the areas in your park, and you never know when something could go haywire. I don't mean to be critical, but. You don't have a very good selection of rides in the park. Have you thought about building more? You've researched some ride upgrades that you haven't used. Maybe you should give them a try. People love a change of pace. We have a ride I haven't built yet? Or is this a, or it's a tour ride? A great time. Oh, I remember this. Yeah, let's put one of these in. Go on that. Let me just go on it so I can show it off. Find your very Come on. Maybe you should raise them. Come on. Yeah. Fire. Congratulations. You found a hidden award. In honor of building a large park full of beautiful features, I present you with the aesthetic award and a gold ticket to go with. Aesthetic it. award. And we get the one year ticket. Or I think we just started like January thirtieth. Your entertainers are dying out there. They're stinking up the place. Have you thought about giving them some training? Frankenstein's aren't very well trained. Aren't so hot. Maybe you should build some new ones. Researchers have discovered. Did I miss it? Ways. Have you thought about using them? Your researchers have come up with a new ride. Supposed to have a thing that flies around the park. The Ooze Cruise. People in the park are really enjoying themselves. Keep it up. Come on, where's the one year? Give me the one year. The visitors think your ticket price is a steal. Have you thought about raising it? Your bank balance is looking pretty low. I think you need to curb your spending before you end up in the red. You think I know what money is, sir? You think I know an economic? You don't have enough mechanics to maintain all of the rides. Maybe you should hire some more. You just told me not to spend money. Your mechanics would be more efficient if you set their patrol areas. Visitors aren't impressed with the selection. There it is. You should consider building more. We can now buy the camcorder. Just press R2 to turn it on. It's just There we go. You're looking at the park with your camcorder. This is what it looks like to the visitors. If you want to try it out on the ride, just go to the entrance and press the ride button. This is all I want in any theme park game. And none of them have it. You've stayed in business long enough to reach your goal. So now you can fully walk around your park. Oh, wow, this is a lot crustier than I remember as a kid. But as a kid, it was so impressive to be walking around. You can even leave. You can even you just leave your park. Oh, wait. We 
Can I get hit by a bus? Hit me. Hit me. Hit me. Beautiful. <laughs> Trash cans up close. Like, wow, those are some lips. I don't think you can go in the arcade. That's just a rabbit hole ride, but there are things you can do. Let's ride this. What happened? Did it glitch? I wanna ride it. What is it doing? Is it? It's. I hope that's not an emulator bug. All right, let's try the the slide. Look at those faces. Those are the children. Have you thought about building more? I guess you can't ride this one. <laughs> this is a lot crustier and limited than I remember. Oh my god. But yeah, the reason that these whack-a-mole games and such are so oversized and ridiculous looking is because you're actually supposed to play them. And you get mini games. Oh no. I'm supposed to hit it. I, thought, I was trying to get in it. Oh, come on. That was a hit. Oh, this reminds me of the Rugrats Paris game. I want to play that. Uh, I'm going to add that to the list. It was a free roam theme park game. It was, just collection. it was a mini game collection, but you were free roaming a theme park and collecting tickets and stuff. So I loved it as a kid. I'm sorry you lost. Better luck next time. I'm sorry you lost. Better luck next time. Is there smut of this guy? Rule 34 says there has to be. Future me, when you're editing a video highlight version of this, please add some thank you. Oh my god, why is this so hard? Come on, that's a hit. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm sorry, you lost. Better luck next time. I thought they made one asset. The, the cursor is also the ball. Okay, one more. Oh my god, that should have counted. <laughs> you lost. Better luck next time. Okay, there we go. I can't believe they made an animation for it just wobbling when you hit the edge. That's ridiculous. There we go, there we go. Nope. Hey! Nice work. You want a gold ticket at this game. We read the clown ride. Oh, that is this one. Okay. You're doing a great job. We ride the tentacles. Really enjoying themselves. Keep it up. Wow, this is thrilling. I think you don't count as a rider. You have to wait for enough people to get on the ride. Buy it. This isn't a tycoon game anymore. This is a ride game now. Have you about using I think you could ride the insect one. 
Yeah, there we go. Actually play this sideshow just by hitting the play button. Just between you and me, this isn't the only thing in the park you can play. Keep your eyes Whoa. wandering around and if Was that a euphemism? Appear on one of the buttons up there in the right corner. Give it a punch and see what happens. Just between you and me, that uh isn't the only thing in the park you can play with. Visitors are having a great time. Keep up the good work. Visitors find your ticket prices very cheap. Here's the very slow moving tour ride. Okay, okay. We're done with this park. Let's see if we can see another theme before I Visitors switch games. With the of rides here. You you can I go back to this one to farm some gold tickets? Yeah, here we go. I need to beat the games here, the mini games. This park's goal you know, for performance has been set. Check your messages to see the actual figure. Here we go, play the whack a mole game now. Come on. Oh, it's, it's so awful and floaty. You have to hold a direction. If you let go of the analog stick, you just snap back to the center one. Hey! Nice work. You want a gold ticket at this game. Can I use speed run through the game by unlocking a new park, unlocking the side shows, and just getting a ticket and running? Let's ride my roller coaster. Those clouds! Vertex painted clouds, I love the look. It looks like a Spyro game over there. Hey, the full draw distance is impressive for the time. Okay, maybe it's not full draw distance. This green fog. Some of your visitors are hungry. Maybe you should build some food shops before they start. I mean, leave. Ooh. You're doing a great job. People in the park are really enjoying themselves. Keep it up. I was about to say, I really want someone to make a game where the focus is walking around the park and you can interact with everything. They made that. That's called Thrillville Off the Rails for the Wii. First, Thrillville is good too, but. Off the rails is, uh, is fantastic. I'd love to stream that, but all the mini games are Wii motion control. You don't have a very good selection. I know there's a PS2 version of the first game, so maybe I'll look into that one. Okay, got the ticket. If I remember correctly, there's two more themes to see. No, it's just another Lost Kingdom. It's a different scenario for the dinosaur theme. But get new rides, let's take a look at those. I could play this another time and try to get the, unlock the last two themes. The last two is... One is like a Wonderland-ish miniature theme. There's like giant bugs and stuff. And it looks like you're tiny. It's like Bugs Land. And the other is, um, space, with, like, bouncy castles and stuff. Like, anti-gravity rooms. Let's just place down these two mini-games, beat these two mini-games. Yes, here we go. Oh god. Oh! There we go. Nice work. You won a gold ticket at this game. 
What is this? I don't remember this one. What am I shooting? This is a little triangle. Oh, this is jank. I guess I'm just not supposed to hit the bomb. Alright, this one sucks. This is hardly even a mini game. Oh, I hit a bomb, it just all resets. There's no lose condition. There's no like, oh, you lost, try again. No, it just keep doing this. Oh, no, wait, there is. Oh my god. There is limited ammo. But then if you hit a bomb, you just might as well restart. You're not gonna have enough ammo to do it all over again. Want more? Yay! You want a gold ticket at this And is there any more to unlock here? You know, you can actually play this sideshow just by hitting the play button. Oh, I need to hire a researcher. This isn't the only thing in the park you can play. Because I would do when I used to play. Oh. And if you see the play option appear on one of the buttons up there in the right corner, give it a punch and see what happens. You have five guards working for you, and that's the upper limit for a park. If you want to improve your performance, you'll have to train them. You've got five mechanics working for you, and that's the limit for a park. If you need to improve the mechanics- No, the tycoon part doesn't matter anymore. I'm just speedrunning to get the minigame tickets. There's no reason to play build a park anymore. And that's the most you can have. If you need more work from the janitorial staff, you'll have to train them. You already Plant have school. five researchers, and that's the most you can have in one park. If you want to improve the research department, you'll have to do some training. Yeah, I think this is the map I spent the most time on as a kid, because it's really difficult if you actually want to build a park. Because of these giant rivers. It's one, you you don't like the roller coaster till you've already built all around here. So you're trying to get it to fit around this lake and up this hill and you have more yeah. security guards than you need for a park this size. You could save some dough, not to mention donuts if you could get by with fewer. Donuts. He made a donut joke. A cab. <sighs> okay, can I do that? A new sideshow has been researched. Now we can all rest a little easier. Not that. Come on. Visitors find your ticket prices very cheap. Maybe you should raise them. Your visitors are having a great time. Keep up the good work. Not gonna have enough room. Ah! I don't have enough room. <laughs> You're gonna go on strike. Good for them. I don't need them. I just need giant puzzle. Do I even have to put on a pathway? Can I just camcorder and walk over to it? Oh no, it's a slide puzzle! Kill me. Oh my god, look at how fast that time limit goes!
Ah, oh, I was so close! Sorry, you lost. Better luck next time. Wait, can I just memorize the way it moves and do it in reverse? Would that work? But that's what the speedrunners do. I'm sure this game has just such high level speedrunning going on. Uh, where's the missing piece? That's the, it's the bottom right, I think. There we go. Hey, nice work. You won a gold ticket at this game. Now I can leave this park. Unless, is there another one? No. That's all the sideshows. So now we can leave the park and unlock the next theme. Space. Uh, close another park where you can open this one. Alright, well, we only have three parks at a time. Set. Check your messages to see the actual figure. I get one ride to start out with here. The park is now open. You've already built all of the shops that are currently available. Do you want to research some more? You already had five researchers, and that's the most you can have in one park. If you want to improve the research department, you'll have to do some training. Oh, you, you can't play this one? Than you need for a park this size. What do you mean you can't play this one? It looks like a playable game. Did the art team make this and then the mini game team was like, ah, oh, we'll get to it, and they never did. Because you just, they just, this is obviously designed as one of the playable games. Oh my god. It's the same shooting game as the other one, but with the different targets. I think a little market research is in order. You've already built all of the available shops. Maybe you should research some others. Researchers have discovered a new sideshow. What? This one I can play. Just the strength game again. Oops. I'm sorry, you are. Better luck next time. There we go. <laughs> you want a gold ticket at this game. All right, I'll save. Maybe we'll come back to this and see the last theme later. I'll look up to see if maybe there's unlockable stuff at the end. I never made it this far as a kid. Well, I made it this far as I know the theme, but I never got to the end. And... All right, I'm gonna change the title. We're gonna put Punky Skunk. Funky skunk. Skunky funky. Is Punky Skunk in the Steam in the Twitch 